The following video has been brought to you by RYN Studios. Release your nerd. Hello everyone, my name is the King of Clubs and welcome to another episode of Storytime with King of Clubs. Um, today's story is actually going to be a collection of uh, very small short stories, um, all with the, kind of the same theme. I titled this video, uh, Not the Face. It's actually going to be a bunch of short stories about uh, incidents and accidents of involving me getting hit in the head or face. Um, because I'm actually fairly accident prone. Um, that's probably an understatement. I'm sure I'll have, I'll have a lot of people in my personal life correcting me on that. But uh, yeah, this, uh, this one actually might end up being a two-part episode if... The video runs too long, I'll be watching my little counter here just to keep track of time. Um, hopefully that won't be the case, but we'll see. Alright, so uh, over the course of my life I have had a lot of accidents and incidents where I've been hit in the head or face or basically all the same. Um, I think the first one I'll start with is a story that happened, probably the earliest one I can remember happening, um, was when I was in... I believe it was the third grade. Um, me and my best friend were on recess, and we were walking across the playground. I was uh, I was on my way, to, I believe, to the swing set. I, I it's been so long, I honestly can't remember all the details. Mind you, I've been hit in the head and face a lot, so <laughs> you gotta think. After a while, even though I didn't have any, to my knowledge, any concussions or anything like that. It kind of messes with your ability to remember stuff, especially when it happens that far back. Um, anyway, so like I said, I think it was third grade. I remember walking across the playground, and I remember making the mistake of walking across the basketball court because it looked like they were playing just half court game at the other end because no one was coming anywhere near the half that I was on. Um, apparently, they weren't. Apparently, they were playing full court, and they got down to the end that I was at. Um, or at least fairly close to the end that I was at, and someone decided to do a long shot that actually made it into the hoop, which I happened to be standing under at the time, or right, walking under. I was walking right under the hoop, which was another stupid idea. Uh, the ball came down, hit me right on top of the head, dropped me to my knees immediately, just boom, went down. Um, you know, that was that was the first one I can remember, remember happening. Um, Ironically, if I actually enjoy basketball, I'm just not that good at it. I'm, I'm not very tall, and I really don't have very much in the way of skills, especially now. Um, I'm not very fast or athletic anymore. But I used to love playing basketball. Um, I also have had a lot of incidents, similar to that one, involving basketball. Um, and the next story is actually uh, an incident where it happened at practice. At least, let's see, it was... At least two occasions I can think of offhand. Um, there might have been a third one I'm just not remembering. But uh, one occasion happened at practice one night. Uh, I was, I believe, in seventh or eighth grade. I was, I was a bit older, um, and I didn't make the cut for the school team. But my town had a church league that uh, for kids that wanted to play basketball. So I, I played it on the church league. Um, so I was at practice one night and we were doing little skirmishes and, and practices and uh, we had an odd number of people that night so they needed one person to, to rotate out. So that night I was on my turn to rotate out while everyone else practiced. I was walking along the sideline and somehow someone took a long shot again. Um, I'm behind the basket. I'm not under the basket. I learned not to be under a basket when someone's playing basketball. I'm behind the basket. I'm, I'm actually towards the back wall. Um, I hear everyone shouting. I turn, and someone had thrown uh, an air ball so off that it missed the basket completely and came right down on my forehead. I mean, right in the forehead. Just, just boom, right, right in the face. Um, I went down. I remember that part. Um, I was okay. I kept I finished practice and everything was fine. I just that was just kind of embarrassing. <laughs> um, and then I think it was the same season. We had another night where not very many people showed up um, for, for practice, 
uh, that was the one drawback to the uh, to my later years of that church league was because people stopped showing up as we got older, uh, which happens. I mean, it's nothing new. It happens with city leagues too. Whenever you play baseball, um, so uh, we had a game, We had a practice scheduled, and myself, I think, if I remember right, there was myself and three other kids that showed up for practice and so we had we decided to have a three on three game three on three practice game uh, and one of the coaches would be on each side to level it out my dad was one of the coaches and then uh, we had another coach I don't remember his name but uh, I was on the other coaches team I wasn't on my dad's team I was on the other coaches team and we were just doing a little practice game he goes to chest pass me the ball and he passes a little bit higher than I think he meant to and my hands I guess were just a little bit spaced too far apart because the ball slipped right through my fingers hit me right in the face just right in the face didn't break my nose or anything but you would have thought it would have <laughs> uh, I didn't go down that time I remember just kind of be standing there being stunned like okay ow because <laughs> it just hit me in the face but uh, yeah it was it was one of those things where it's like, okay, come on, I'm getting, I'm getting beat up by by basketballs over here. Um, so those were three instances that I can remember getting hit in the head and face um, just with basketball. Uh, I had an incident with baseball happen to me once. Um, actually, I think it was the s summer after that last season of basketball because the church league only went up to like eighth grade. Um, it was either the summer before or the summer after that last season that I played my last season of baseball. And uh, I was uh, playing, uh, we, were, we were doing uh, some drills, and I went to catch uh, a ground ball, a uh, ground ball that popped up, and I went. I kneeled down to catch it, and it just it it went up my glove and just barely missed my my top hand, and came up and just hit me right in the mouth, busted me right in the mouth. Uh, I didn't break any of my teeth, surprisingly enough. Um, it actually just gave me a giant fat lip and uh, had me bleeding for a little bit. And uh, in the process of me walking off the field to go get some ice to kind of take down the swelling and to kind of wash out my mouth, get all that blood out of there. In the process of that, I almost get hit in the back of the head by a fly ball that <laughs> that someone had hit. Because I hear, because I heard my teammates yelling, and I glance, I don't see anything, and then all of a sudden I hear this thud of a baseball lane right next to where I'm standing. I'm like, okay, this is probably a sign that I need to just get off the field right now. So I had that incident. So sports. As much as I enjoyed playing when I was younger, they didn't always love me back. Um, so those were those inc incidents. Uh, let's see. What else happened involving me getting beat up in the face? <laughs> uh, oh yeah, there was the first time that I slashed my nose open. Um, I've never actually broken my nose. I've had my nose cut open multiple times, but never actually broken, thankfully enough. Um, I had... Uh, as an uh, incident happened when I was younger, uh, I used to stay at my grandparents' house um, because my parents would work late. So when I got off school, I'd just go to my grandparents' house, hang out there. My parents would show up, they'd pick us up, my brother and I, and we'd go home. That was that was kind of the routine. Go home, do what we needed to do. Anyway, so I was, I was at my grandparents' house, and they had a basement where the grandkids would hang out because it was kind of out of the way. We got to watch our own TV. We got to do what we wanted. Pretty free range, I mean, within reason. And so I was down there hanging out, and I was sitting at this table, and to my right, to my right is a bench press, my grandfather's bench press, uh, which he used fairly regularly. And I knew it was there, it, it's, it's always been there. Um, well, as I'm sitting down here, um, I don't even remember what I was doing, if I was playing a card game or if I was organizing something, because I had tons of collections even as a kid. I was I was doing something at the table. I don't remember. 
But um, my dad shows up to pick us up, opens up the door to the basement, hollers down, says, uh, says, hey guys, it's time to go. I turn to say okay, and in the process of me turning, I don't know, I forget that the bar from the bench press is right there next to my head. So I turn and it cuts across, the edge of the bar cuts across the bridge of my nose, um, which more than anything surprises me. Um, it's, it, yeah, it stings a bit because it's not like a sharp edge, it's just, I just happen to catch it at the right angle to get myself cut. But it's, it's more the shock and just the unknown, the, the lack of knowledge as to what happened. That was making me freak out. I was, I was, I was screaming. I probably fell out of my chair in all reality, because um, I just I was sure, I was sure shock as to what the hell was going on. Something that just basically attacked me. I didn't know what it was. Um, but after I pieced it together, it was the uh, the bench press. I somehow managed to cut myself on that, um, and that just uh, that was one incident. I had a little bit of a scar from that. Um, Again, I didn't break anything, just cut myself open. Um, another incident happened very similar to that years later. Actually, just a few years ago, I had an incident, and you're actually going to see this as the display picture for this video. Um, that uh, scab or marking that you see on my face is from another incident in the same spot, and I believe very close to the same angle as the bench press incident. Um, that one actually happened from a crowbar. Actually, I believe it was a, I believe it was called a, like a lamp's hoof or something like that. It's basically a smaller version of a, of a crowbar. Uh, what had happened was I was helping one of my mom's friends uh, remodel a house that he was renting out or going to rent out, and uh, I was there. I just I helped him out like you know, a couple days. I it wasn't I wasn't benefiting from doing the job because he wasn't really paying me very much. For the amount of time I had to spend driving there and driving back, and the amount of money I was spending just getting to and from the job, and, and then having to go out and buy my own lunch, it wasn't worth the little bit of money he was paying me. So uh, I just worked for him for I think a day, maybe two days, and said, you know, this this could actually cost me more than I'm actually going to make, so I, I can't do this. Um, and he was understanding about that. But what happened was, uh, I believe it actually was my first day there. I. Uh, I was using the, this little crowbar to pry off the old ceiling tiles um, so that we could put new insulation down and then he was going to put new tile down, uh, new ceiling tile down. Anyway, so what happened was I'm pulling these old old ceiling tiles out and I finished the row that I'm on so I'm like okay I need to move, need to get down, move the ladder, start the next row. I get down there, I move the ladder and I hear this rattling noise and I'm trying to think what is that noise? I forgot that I left that little crowbar on top of the ladder because I'm not smart and I don't think to pull it down with me. So I make the next dumb decision. I look up at the noise that I hear. And of course, the little crowbar falls off the top of the ladder and hits me right between the eyes. Teeth first, right between the eyes. Now, I did have one thing that really benefited me. I had safety glasses on. I didn't want to get any dust or insulation in my eyes. And it's a good thing I was wearing them because that thing came right down across the bridge of the nose, which split my glasses in two, perfectly in two at an angle, um, which probably protected my eyes and another parts of my face from getting actually cut up. Um, so it could have been so much worse than what it actually was, but I was frustrated because it was a stupid mistake that cost me, caused that to happen pretty much. And what made me even more mad was the fact that that was a really good pair of safety glasses that I had just ruined. I was so angry at that. Um, ironically enough, uh, I, I once I once the incident happened, I sent a text to the guy because he was in the, another he was in another part of the house where he couldn't hear me. I sent him a text saying, "Hey, do you have a band-aid? And uh, he goes, he sent a reply saying, "Yeah, you, yeah, you get cut." And I've sent one back saying, um, you could say that. You, you, yeah, you could say that. So he comes over, he sees what happened, he goes, what happened? And I, I explained it to him, he's like, oh, that sucks. So I covered it up, kept it as clean as I could so that there wouldn't be any dust or insulation in there. Um, I just really didn't want to get anything in the wound. And I, I, I kept working after that. Um, I worked a little bit longer, and then 
he said, hey, let's, let's stop for lunch. So I did. I, and I went and I decided to have lunch with my dad. Well, my dad works for the hospital. Uh, not as a doctor or anything, he works as a maintenance worker. Um, but of course, him and all of his maintenance buddies have to ask me the question, what happened to your face? It's just the, the basic instinctual question when you see someone's got a, a wound on the bridge of their nose, what happened to your face? So I had to hear that I don't know how many times. And so I just, I, I went along with it. it. It wasn't bad, it's just, it's one of the things you hear it enough, it's like, okay, haha, uh -huh, it was funny the first time. Um, not really, but okay. And uh, so with that, I had a nice little scar for a while. I, mean, I still have a scar today, I and mean, you can't really see it now because it's faded down quite a bit. But um, I had that, that scab and the, the bruising around my, my nose, and in part of my eye was actually a little bit black for a good little while, which is funny because I worked other jobs, and they I'd have to explain to them what happened, um, and it was always just kind of amusing. Just the reactions, uh, and they're kind of surprised, and some of them always kind of laughed at me. because like, huh, yeah, you, you really did a number on yourself, didn't you? Yep. Uh, so yeah, that, that was another story of how I messed up myself, um, messed up my face. Um, one last one here, uh, this video is starting to get up there in time, so I'm going to try to wrap this up real quick here. Um, one last story that I have for you guys. This is one that happened uh, a few years ago, probably like five years ago. Um, I was I was in a relationship with a girl who had uh, two little kids. And I loved those kids to death. They they were adorable. I was not their their father, but I was their I was their dad. I took care of them for the time that I was in that relationship, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I I'm not I will not say that I'm the best dad. I, I do not think I will ever be the best at anything. But for someone who didn't have any training or virtually knew nothing about kids, I think I did fairly good for the time frame that I was taking care of them. Um, I'm so I'm proud of myself for that. Uh, one particular incident, incident that happened, it was an accident, and it, it was it was no one's fault. I, I blame no one. I don't even blame myself, even though it probably was. If it was to be blamed on anyone, should have been me. <laughs> but it wasn't that big of a deal. No, um, I was playing. Uh, she had a son and a daughter. I was playing with the son. The daughter was taking a nap, and the son's only he, he wasn't even two years old. He was like 18 months. But he's he was very active, very mobile. And uh, he liked to roughhouse. For a little kid, he loved to roughhouse. And uh, uh, and so we were roughhousing one day. And he had this blanket. And uh, I put the blanket over my head at one point. I was just kind of playing little games with him and whatnot. Making different sound noises and sound effects at him, which always made him laugh. And by accident, because he couldn't see where my face was, he accidentally headbutted me right in the nose while well, I had this blanket over my face. Didn't break anything, but it did make my nose bleed a little bit. So I had to stop, clean that up, and once it, once it stopped bleeding, I went back to playing with him. It was perfectly fine, nothing major. I just kind of felt sick. I'm like, I got beat up by a two-year-old. Wow. <laughs> Not even a two-year-old. But yeah, that was a, that was a fun time. Um... And that's the last of the stories I can remember of things that have happened to my head and face over the years. Uh, uh, the more I say that, the worse it sounds for some reason. <laughs> um, so yeah, hopefully you like this video. It's a bit of a longer one, almost 20 minutes long. By the time I get done editing it, it probably will still be about 20 minutes long because I do my intros and whatnot. Uh, hopefully you like the video. If you do, leave a like, favorite the video, share the video with others so they can listen to me just ramble on about my humility. Uh, humiliations, not humility. Um, <laughs> and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Um, more stories like this happen every Thursday. Um, also, again, as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, or some of my previous videos, if you have suggestions for stunts you'd like to see me do on Sundays, be sure to leave me comments on my social media, namely my Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. Um, I also have Snapchat, which I'm, I welcome anyone to just chat with me. Links or for all my social media in the description below. Now, if I uh, don't reply right away, don't take it personally. I do get a bit of a lag, I've noticed, with my social media. 
because it all goes to my phone and sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to actually notify me. Um, so if you send me a Snapchat, it may not go through right away, and I apologize if it doesn't. But I promise I will respond to you as fast as possible. Um, but yeah, any suggestions you have, leave on not the Snapchat, but Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. Twitter. Uh, also be prepared, though, if you challenge me, I may challenge you right back to do the same stunt. So be careful what you ask for. Um, now, uh, that's all I have for this video. I, I do apologize for it running on, on a bit longer, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed my little short stories here. Um, thanks for listening to me ramble on with another episode of Storytime. Have a nice day.